my name is Eve and I like to talk about disturbing books and recommend them to you. Today I'm going to be talking about four disturbing books that you can find on Kindle Unlimited while I am drinking. If you follow me on TikTok, you know this is a reoccurring thing that I do. If you don't follow me on TikTok, I have two TikTok accounts. One is Confessions of the Mosses and the other one is Eve Reads where I do short form videos recommending books and discussing books in depth individually. So the first book I want to talk about uh, you can find on Kindle Unlimited. It is called The Found, the Found Bag of Doom, which I rarely hear anyone talk about and I thought it was such a crazy book. The Found Bag of Doom follows our main character. He is struggling financially because his child, his infant child, has cancer. Him and his wife are struggling to make payments when it comes to the cancer treatments and one day while he's driving he runs into his brother who's like drunk on the side of the road and he finds a bag of money. Of course, what does someone do when they're struggling financially and they find a fat sack of money? They're going to take it. So he takes it and the people that were s supposed to get that bag of money find out that he takes it and he has to pay for taking it so they torture his wife in front of him and she passes away and they take his infant child and they abuse his infant child and send him video proof of doing so until he gets back the money and who is in charge of all of this and whose money it is crazy the next book i'm going to be talking about is called broken dolls and it follows Lauren and her daughter, Tully. They were just trying to hang out, relax, have a very laid back night. When they get a knock at the door, two people are like, hey, our car broke down. Can we use your phone to call someone? And Lauren being the good Samaritan that she is, she's like, yeah, come in. Come on. That was a mistake because it's on some clockwork orange shit. And Lauren and her daughter get used and abused in some very unspeakable ways. There is a scene where one of the guys that comes into Lauren's house is actually like a child. And the, the man who is holding them hostage forces Lauren to do some very unspeakable things to this child. And to her own daughter, Tully. And the ending had my jaw on the floor. There is a second book to this that I read. If you want me to do a review on it, I'm down. The next book you should check out on Kindle Unlimited if you have a very strong stomach is called Ensuring Your Place in Hell. It's three brutal, disgusting, disturbing short stories. One is about eating kidney stones, which I didn't realize was going to bother me so much until I read this short story because the man literally forces his dog to produce kidney stones for him to eat. What the fuck? Another story in this book follows two guys who want to become superstars on the dark web. And the way that they do this is that they enter a like homeless community, homeless camp, and they just wreak havoc. Like They're killing people, they're slaughtering people, they're doing some very unmentionable undesirable things to these people and it gets really dark and disturbing really fast and then the last story talks about the golden compass was this which is essentially a place where you can go if you want to eat things that come out of people and also eat the people like one of the characters in the book gets upset because he gets a girl that works there pregnant and he's upset because he can't eat the kid himself. The kid got sold off to one of the other partakers in the Golden Compass and it just gets very messy, very dirty, very disgusting, very quickly. And the last book I'm going to be talking about that you can find on Kindle Unlimited is called Zola. This book if you like cheese uh don't read this because this book involves a lot of cheese and a lot of very disgusting things it's it was ridiculous but it essentially follows an abusive relationship that births a kid and the dad starts taking interest in the kid as he's a little bit more grown up like 
12 or 10 or something. And he starts selling the kid to his friends. And it was so heartbreaking. And when the mom finds out that this is happening, she, of course, goes into a rage. She's been abused this whole relationship. And so as soon as she finds out that her son is dealing with this abuse, she goes buck wild. She kills her husband. And then... (laughs) And then the son, um, she just starts killing a bunch of people, inviting them over, only men, inviting them over to have a adult relations with her for money, and then she ends up killing them. And she uses the meat from the men that she kills for food. And she makes cheesesteaks from the man meat. And her son becomes like really enthralled with these cheesesteaks and she raises him secluded like he does not go outside he does not do anything he just sits in his room and he um he plays with himself a lot and he plays with himself uh like with his mom in his mind And his mom did everything for him. She never really taught him how to be able to be self-sufficient. He doesn't know how to make food. And so one day when she passes away, um, he, he just doesn't know what to do. So he goes to her and she is dead. And he starts kind of like abusing her while she's dead. And then he goes down into the kitchen and tries to make himself some food. And then there's this one scene where he starts eating like he, hold on, he takes some of the meat and he was like, the meat that I've been making doesn't taste as good as mom's meat because she marinates it. She seasons it with something and it's brown, whatever she does. I don't know. So he finds the toilet and it's full of caca. It's full of poo-poo. And he takes the meat and he marinates the meat in the caca poo-poo. And then he eats it. And he ends up cutting his wrist or something. And as he's like dipping the meat into the poo-poo, he gets an infection and he gets a really bad fever. And it's just... It's a really rough, it's a really rough read. But those are just four, (laughs) those are only four of some of the disturbing books that I've read on Kindle Unlimited. If you want me to give you more recommendations, I have a whole notebook filled with them and I'm down to talk about them. Also, I'm already almost at a hundred subscribers, which is awesome. Once I get to 200 subscribers though, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway. I would like to buy um, three random subscribers, like three books off their Amazon wish list. So when I get to 200 subscribers, if you're following me on here, I will be hopefully buying three of you, three books off your Amazon wish list. I hope everyone has a great night and yeah.